All right, so how do we make Earthworm Jim here not look like absolute trash? Um, well, the first thing you gotta do is get rid of all this integer scaling. I mean, this is just blowing up the pixel size to a ridiculous degree. Look at this bullshit. This is fucking ugly. Um, yeah, turn on B-spline. Just the bicubic preset with B1 and C0. You can already see that the pixel size is not so ridiculous anymore, right? So that's already most of it, but you've got a ridiculous amount of jail bar dithering still. Uh, so got a couple of presets prepared here. So this is just the vertical line dithering big difference in uh, SNPT mix. So I'll show you what um, shaders are being used here and what the options are. And look at those vertical lines on his suit, particularly his backpack. We can adjust this. Problem is it's going to really remove a lot of that resolution on the horizontal axis. Um, so it's only really for like extreme cases like the Sonic Waterfall and Shinobi 3 on the Genesis that you'd really want to like turn that blend level up. Um, and yeah, most of the checkerboard dithering is taken care of, but you can get it even better if you use this. So this is the vertical line dithering from SGen PT Mix and then the checkerboard dithering from Jink2 dither, uh, which is pretty much the strongest dither uh, filter that you can use or shader. So let's use this in motion. So yeah, there still is some dither patterns back there. Uh, that's yeah, there there just is. Um, there's not really any way to completely clear all of it and it isn't really like a good idea anyway I mean look at this if I max it out completely it's still there and you're blurring the image a lot this is with SGen PT Mix and I don't even recommend that you use SGen PT Mix for checkerboard dithering um, because Jink 2 d dither is better for that anyway. Like, look at that, clears more of it. There is one that is a little bit stronger, um, but I don't recommend using it. It's the PS1 d dither box blur. But yeah, you can actually play like this. I would actually recommend that you play like this on Genesis games. It's a pretty good way to play. Um, doesn't get everything though. It's just the way it is. Um, even on a blurry CRT with composite, you're not gonna have every single effect blended perfectly. And certainly not on your average consumer set. Like it's only the extremely blurry ones, like really small and blurry and composite that you're going to have most of the effects blended. Anyway, there's Earthworm Jim. All right, and here's your classic Shinobi 3 waterfall. I mean, just look at that. Yeah, it looks like shit without any de-dithering and an integer scale. It just looks like garbage. Um, with this preset here, got your Jink 2 de-dither SGen PT Mix uh, VL. Looks pretty good. It's definitely not blended all the way though, so if that bugs you, that you can see the vertical lines 
just crank that shit. Um, you know, it's it's really just it's a blur slider. You're gonna have less resolution on the horizontal axis. The higher this value is, you can see it on the uh, health bar up there. But there you go. There's your fully blended waterfall, and the same thing applies to Sonic. And just to show you um, what this looks like with only B spline, it's pretty decent already. But the water. You can definitely see the checkerboard dither pattern still. Um, would be a lot less noticeable at 4K than it is here at 1080p. And here's with SGen PT Mix blending at zero. Still a little bit of the pattern there. So yeah, Jink 2D dither is much better for the checkerboard dithering. Um, also works on Streets of Rage. where SGen PT Mix fails. So this is exactly the same idea with the Sonic Waterfall. Yeah, doesn't this just look great? Such a vibe. And, yeah, I mean, totally up to you, but there's an argument to be made for this as well. It is a little on the blurry side when you crank it all the way. You definitely don't want to be using these de-dithering shaders just universally. Pretty much just turn them on if you see a lot of dither patterns and it bugs you. You prefer to be blended. If you are fine with seeing dither patterns, don't use them. Personally, I'm usually going to play like that. I mean, yeah, occasionally there's going to be like a waterfall where it's not fully blended together, but I just prefer slightly more detail without turning that uh, blur slider up. Really depends on the game, too. Anyway, yeah, 